If you operate a small local business or you build websites for small businesses, then you will love the new landing page set that we've just released. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and here's a look at our new Thrive Biz local business page templates. You can preview the new landing pages in our gallery and let's have a quick look at some of them right now. Here is an example which would be for an attorney or some kind of advocacy business. Then we've got this example which would be a lead generation landing page for a realtor. Then we've got this example which would be for a clinic or some kind of medical service. And here we've got one which is cosmetics, beauty, spa related, that kind of business. Now let's have a look at another page in the editor itself. You will find these new local business landing page templates in the Thrive Template Cloud tab right here. And as usual here, any page you want to use, you just click on download and it will download from our cloud right to your WordPress website. After a few seconds, it will be available. You click on open to start editing it. I've already got one open here, which is one of our other examples, which would be for a mechanic. And on this page, let me walk you through some of the elements that we use here. So first of all, in the header, we've really got a very compressed view of the most important information. So first of all, right away, phone number, right? We want to get phone leads. So right away, we've got a phone number. And as with everything in Thrive landing pages, you just click onto it and start editing, right? You just change this to the actual number of the business you're building this for. Then we have opening hours and then we have a address. This, this is, you know, the most likely stuff that the visitor wants to know right away. So we put it right in the header. Then we have the main section right here with a benefit statement. And again, we have two calls to action. So one of them is give us a call. And the other one is request an appointment. And the idea is this button here, you can either link this to a contact form or you can link this to a scheduling app. So if you're using something like Calendly or one of the various other scheduling apps that are available, you would link this to where your visitor can then, you know, see when time slots are available and make an appointment. The next section here is something you can use to link out some more information. This here is a post grid and, and right here it shows the latest four posts. And you can change this. So this is a post grid, meaning you can go into edit grid and you can change by any criteria what you want to show up here. And I'll show a, an example of how that works in just a second. But I also want to show that, you know, everything here is modular. So if this is something you don't want to have on the page, you can just get rid of it, right? We just get rid of this, get rid of this and get rid of this. And the page still looks fine. So everything here is made to be modular. The same goes for the for these sections here, right? Maybe you want more of this. Maybe you want another section like this. And so what you could do is you could just copy this whole thing. And in this case, it would probably look better if it's down here. And there we go, right? We've got another section. So the whole thing is made to be modular like that. So here we have some more information about this business, another call to action, then some testimonials, another call to action, and then a map showing your location. And what you can do here is you click on the map, you go to edit Google map code, then you simply go to Google maps, you open Google maps and you search for your address right here. And then you click on share. So when the location where you're at is loaded, you click on share and you copy the code that's in this field. It's already pre-selected. So basically control C to copy, and then you replace this entire code. So control A to select all of it, control V to paste the new one, save, and you've got your new location right here. So it's as simple as that. All right, with that said, let's have a look at one more example. So we go to choose landing page and let's go with the restaurant themed one. You'll see similar elements used in slightly different ways on these different templates. So here again, we have phone number right away. You also can link this to a reservation or a booking app that your local business might be using. We have some more information. And here we have another example of a post grid. So this looks a bit weird. That's because it's showing the latest posts and they don't have any images. And this is meant to use images. So one of the ways you can use this is I've created some posts and I put them in a specific category. I put them in the category called restaurant. So I start searching for that category and I select it from the drop down and I save that. 
and now it brings the content that I wanted to show. So here you could create a blog post for each item on the menu or any, you know, it could also be a page for each item on the menu or whatever you want to do. And you add a featured image, you add them to a specific tag or category. And this is how you can then link out to that content from this page. And so if we keep going here, and as always, so we have the same kind of elements again, as you can see, and as always, anything you see, you want to change it, you just click on it. So if I want to change this background image, I click on it and I click on background image and I choose a different image. And there we go. This image is too small, so it looks pixelated, but you get the idea. So this is what these new landing pages look like and how they work. So that's our first set of local business landing pages. And of course, we are very curious to know what you think of them and what kind of other local business pages you would like to see. So please take a look at these pages. They're available right now in the Thrive Landing Pages plugin. And let us know by leaving a comment below what other pages you'd like to see and what you think of these pages, how you can use them, what kind of improvements you'd like to see and so on. This is something that if there is demand for it, we would love to explore this further. We would love to do more templates like these and we really, really appreciate any feedback we get from you. So thank you for watching and I look forward to reading your comments.